we have discovered or studied or learned <laughs> what word I have to use. You say we have listened to. Then what I can say? I have talked. <laughs> My job is to but think is that about what four fathers. Atma is supposed to have four fathers. Three fathers were isolated. The fourth father, fourth father is not a distinct and different father for the other descent. Other than the three, it is in and through these three and yet free from all those three. So 17 pointers were there and that is what is Chaturtam Manyanti. Chaturtam means Chaturiyam. Chaturiyam means Turiyam. This word Turiya is very popular. So Turiyam. And itself is what? Atma I. Well, let it be there. Why should you bother? No, 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 no. Saha Atma Vidneya. The best student came just now to me. Swamiji, I have read somewhere in the Banduk Vishya, only mantra 7 is enough. <laughs> mantra 7 is enough. So please explain elaborately. I have already explained. <laughs> I have already explained word by word by word by word. Now we have to see what exactly is meant by Vidneya. And if you have not got Vidnana, tune in your instrument. Everything is there. More than this, not necessary. All that is taught is in spite of that, you are not able to gain Vidnana. Tune in your endeavor. Just what is the instrument? Find out. So how will they say? I don't know. Golden days. No, I don't know. When the pilot takes off a flight, he's supposed to check something, many things. And he can't do it with memory. And nowadays I don't technology has developed, I don't know what it is all about. But he has to but the list is there. He has to go on checking. Tick, 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 tick. Without taking for granted, you can't return the memory as that. So like that. We have to kick in. <laughs> Number one, what is it? Sadhana Chatushya Sampati, one comprising of how many? Viveka, Vairagya, six. Chapatavadi, six. How many? Eight. Then, that is Viveka Vara Chapatavadi, Bhukshutva. Chapatavadi, huh? Viveka Vairagya Chapatavadi, Bhukshutva. 2 plus 3 plus 6, 9. And in that, one is very important. And if you have got that one, others will already. So like that, no? Suppose you want to enter a palace, strict guards are there. So, and one day, one guard is known to you. Then what the? Amaranga. <laughs> like that. Nine preparations are necessary. Of course, Shuddhantaka, etc. are there. Among them, you can befriend one of Kakampoya. Your job is done. And what is that? Get keeper. Nowadays, even the Acharyas are soft paddling Vairagya. What is soft paddling? Soft paddling Vairagya because in this stress on Vairagya, audience, <laughs> audience will run away. What will be done afterwards? It should not be done. If Vairagya is not there, then it's look here. Then better take where? Karma and Upasana. If you have got desires, Fulfill legitimate desires by what? Karma and Upasana. At the same time, when you take to Karma and Upasana, it is not worldly means, we have to take to what means? The scriptural means. 
And when you take the scripture means what happens? Indirectly you are living a life of dharma. And when you are living a life of dharma, what happens? So then because of that, your past sins get eliminated and you develop viveka faculty of destination. When you develop viveka, vairagya slowly gone. So then what happens? Hitherto my mind that was totally preoccupied in the sense object all along, now what? It finds no delight in them and it takes to itself the pursuit of taking to higher goal of life. That what happens? The mind becomes come on. What? Introvert. So, we say, Alta Mukha. Presently, what was, what was its tradition? Extra work. Bakir Mukha. See? Without introvert mind, without Antar Mukha, you simply forget gaining the Atma Jnana, Brahma Jnana. You may take delight in Vedanta. See, I told you. Vedanta is a subject, if you are really interested, you can get delighted. Like, it is difficult to begin with. Like I say, I compare with, with mathematics or Sanskrit. Generally, for the student, mathematics and Sanskrit are a little difficult. But if you really take interest, very interesting subjects like that. If you take delight in this is of thing, but it is not the end. There must be direct discovery because why I am, this is not new I am telling you, as we have gone through it, but the context is coming. What is that Vigneha? For that we should know the background. What form do we take to Vedanta? What is that we are aspiring to gain through Vedanta? Is it collecting some information? How does that happen? Give information. Is that better informed person? Is it just a well informed person? A lay person doesn't know. You know what are the words? A lay person doesn't know. Otherwise, you ask your children, handling with the internet, etc., they cannot tell you anything. You know, a well informed person is there. But are you taking that? And it will be one of the hobbies, you have got many, many people have got many hobbies, you have got a hobby of what? Vedanta. What far are you taking to Vedanta? At least be aware of it. You say what? Moksha. I don't know what Moksha. <laughs> what you mean by Moksha? Liberation. What you mean by liberation? Why you want that liberation? Now, let us not use this word for the time being. We are going to come, that is what we have to come to, that is that. But let us start from the scrap. Is it not to be totally free from sorrow and gain happiness and what type of happiness? Perennial happiness, if possible. Yes, sir. Yes. Is it not having found that birth and death? which you are, we get subjected to the cycle repeatedly being painful. Is it not that we want to get rid of that? Yes. Yes, yes sir. Yes. Presently, what is our life? We are sukhi or dukhi. We are happy or sorrowful. Right, you are dukhi. Don't say we are sukhi. Don't say you are dukhi. Uh, at times you are sukhi also. At times you are happy. Many, many times. Sorrow. Is it of the unhappy? We are a mixture of both, joy and sorrow. But we don't want that mixed happiness. We want to have happiness that is there. Again, we want to have happiness which is not dependent on something. If the happiness depends on something, what will happen? That condition, stay, 
wherein I am able to get that happiness from a particular object being or given, may get what? Become otherwise, I will not. So, what I should have? I should have happiness which is independent of everything, never meaning, neither coming nor going all the time. Is it ever possible? If you just observe the word, is there such a happiness? Yes. Including heavens? No. They may be better off, but they are not that. Then what is that? Here Upanishad said, my dear sir, you are Swarupa Actually, in and through your pursuit, you are trying to regain that happiness free from joys and sorrows, free from embodiment, free from birth and death, etc. That is what you are thinking. And then because you don't know what happens to us now, we suffer what is popularly known as what? Samsara. When you say, we suffer, I suffer, I suffer samsara, what do you mean by suffer? Are you experiencing or not? Yes. If you want to get freed from suffering of samsara, what should be the counter remedy? What is the should be remedy? Or what is the counterpart of that? No, but they shall say that you are free from suffering. No, but they say that you are Ananda. I look at it. Is there something wrong with me? Upanishad you said you are Ananda. Upanishad says you are free from sorrow. And I am full of sorrow. Ananda Bahudur hai. It is far, 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 far. And at times I try to, I, I think I got Ananda before I could think that I got Ananda, what happens? Sorry, like Krishna <laughs> giving a slip to Jarasandha. He is running such a way just to come very close. Jarasandha is a child who is a child. He is a child who is a now. He is <laughs> So like that. By the time I think that is there, so now, if I am the other you are sorrowful. Sorrowful means mixed with joy and sorrow. How do you know that? Are you aware? Do you know that you are sorrowful many times and sometimes happy? Yes. How do you know that? Is it without experience you know? Now, I, I am, if I am to know myself to be free from sorrow, I have to know myself to be nothing but happiness, should I not be aware of it? must be honest. Should I not be aware of it? Can I be aware of it? Can I know it without being aware of it? Look, I am hungry. Knowledge or not? How did you come to know? I am aware of. Is it not? This is the introduction to <laughs> what? Vidneya should be understood properly. See, this is not that somebody said, go in detail, I am going in detail. <laughs> I am going in. Ah, see. If you miss these few small things, you will miss everything else. And afterwards come to a wrong conclusion, what is the other problem? So if I am supposed to know I am hungry, should I be aware of it or not? Yes. If I am aware of it. What is the synonym for that, that word? I experience hunger, yes or no? If my mind is agitated, if I am to know my mind is agitated, I should be aware of that my mind is agitated, I have to experience that word. My mind is agitated, I come to Now, keep our hunger intact, okay? After what we can eat, okay? <laughs> That what is the remedy for that hunger? Eating them. Now, when you will know you have solved the problem of hunger of what temporary at this time. When? So much is full. Feel contented. You will feel nourished, etc. 
you may be aware of it also. So know that you are, you are, your hunger is appeal, aware of it or not. So therefore, what happens now? So I should be aware that because of my eating the food, what has happened? My hunger is appeal. I am what? Contented. You have got knowledge or not now? What? I am no more happy. My hunger is happy. Without that experience, is it that? So that means we are deducing a rule for which I will prove it from Yoga Vashishta, not now, in new context, that any experiential problem can be solved only by equally experiential solution. Come on. Anyone contradict? Any experiential problem has to be, of course, for that many other things will be there. But finally, it has to be contracted by what? An experiential solution. If I am samsari, if I get subjected to sorrow, etc., the so solution must be there. If it is reality, I should have equal experience that I am free from samsara, I am free from sorrow. Without that, you do whatsoever you may, your problem is not going to get solved. Your pursuit of hunting the happiness, chasing the happiness, running away from sorrow is not going to end in our Vedantic parlance. You are Jidnyasa. What is Jidnyasa? That earnest desire to know Atma, Brahma, because you have the desire that problem of samsara can be what? Solved only by Atma Jnana, Brahma Jnana. Then what the way? A desire is What desire is that? What is that Atma? What is that Brahma? That Jidnyasa can end only when you have experienced reward yourself to be as guided by the Upanishad, free from what? Free from sorrows, nothing but happiness, free from upadis. And when you say free from upadis, you are free from all the sorrows arising from cross body, subtle body, latent in the causal body. Yes or no? Free from that. So that is how it is. So if this is not that, your person, that your jinnyasa is not going to end. That's why. So now let us see what is meant by this vidneya. That vidneya specifically points out that you should have a first hand knowledge means what? Preceded by what? Awareness. You have to be aware of directly. No sorrows. Not only no sorrows. No sorrows. Then, now, afterwards, they may jump on your head. Like this atheist. You know, just to discourage these Sardhavan people. People take bath in the Ganges, etc., etc. Et they are saying, what for you take bath in the my father, since get washed. That means, end it. Yeah, you don't know. What you said is true. What is that? When you take the bath, you are since moving. Do you know where they go? They perch on the tree on the back. <laughs> and moment you return after bathing, jump on your <laughs> jump on your head. So now, no sorrows, but afterwards what? Again, sorrow. No. Not only I have no sorrows, there is no possibility whatsoever of sorrow in me. What does that mean, Mandu? Vidneyaha. Should be what? Vidneyaha. Now oh, let us see what is meant by Vidneyaha. So now, Vidneyaha. Nilsari means? Should be no big difference because 
Neya means should be no. But there is a prefix V in this in the client will be there. This prefix is that, that V has got something Vishesha. It hints, points out something specific feature that V. So generally V that is in this shows either separation or being apart, distinction or that is what discrimination or something intense will come in either. We prefix it separation. You should know yourself how your true nature as separate from, free from, three upadis. What are those three upadis? What are three upadis? Kula sharira, Kula sharira, Karma sharira. Karma sharira includes the ignorance. If you don't want, takes ignorance separately, free from them. That is what separated from them. Apart from that, it is one thing. Why? These three are not the intrinsic feature of God. But from where they have come? Come on, tell me from where they have come. In, a, in the language of Vedanta, they are adhesta, they are superimposed falsely attributed to I Atma because of my ignorance. Accepted? No. Other meaning can be distinction. Knowing with distinction. What is that distinction? Don't you know many things in life? You know many things in life, you don't know many things in life, just one person. How do you know? That is after process of gaining God. I, me, the individual, who is the knower, nyata, etc. Knows the object, me the subject, nyata, the knower. Knows the object. Vishaya, distinct from me. Neya, no. Go over, no. And connected with a process. What is that process? Knowledge. What do you mean by knowledge? Actually, you should be very careful about this. They say triputi, the word is triputi. Nyata, jnana, neya. Nyata, no. They are known. Jnana, knowledge. What do you mean by knowledge? Jnana, vritti. It's very important. I really wonder how many acharyas know this. Acharyas are very, very important. Jnana, jnana, no one knows knowledge. Triputi is tribe. Triputi, don't get frightened by the word Triputi. Triputi means in English what I can say. Subject, objects and the process in one between. That's it. Subject is no word. Object known. The process of knowing. That is what? Through what? Instrumentation of the means of Tattadakara Vritti, Antakarana Vritti, corresponding to what is to be known. Fine. Same thing applies to experience. See, this Triputi. Triputi means trio. A group of three. And what are those group of three? Over, knowledge, no. Nyata, neya, this. With respect to knowledge. This is what we are familiar with. Experience wise, we are familiar with the same thing. How? Anubhavita. Word is different. Experience. Anubhuta. Experienced. Experienced. Anubhava. The vritti, antakana vritti, which actually gives you the experience. Is it not? Just what you are familiar with. 
Now, third one we can say. Understanding. When you are understanding, understander. Because some people use that, I have to think that also. When they say, because they say, Brahma Sakshatkara means simple understanding. Don't get frightened away with them, such words and such. Something is solid. <laughs> understanding, you have to think that. When you say understanding, is the who is the, uh, who is the understander? Nyala. No one. Understood. No. Process is there or not? What process? Understanding. Understanding. You have to say understanding. <laughs> you can't say. What is the understanding? Antakarana. To put it prior in order that we are familiar with such type of knowledge, such type of experience. Yes or no? Any blessed experience of ours you know, take from the world, we are familiar with that. Say, say that is Neya Hogaya. He is a big Neya, big distinction. What is that? Visheshena Neya. Specifically with some distinct feature, what is that? Knowing, experiencing, understanding. Familiar with that, you think. Understanding without Is it ever possible? Is it ever possible? Without no one, without the no. Without the knowing process, without the experiencer, without the experienced, without the experiencing process, is it possible? This is where some people have gone wrong. They think that experience means simply cryo. They forget with the same logic with the same judgment, knowledge, means what? Tripudi. Ah. Same thing, because we have seen now. No one, no knowledge, Tripudi is there. They forget it. Understanding means what? Tripudi. Then why you have, don't take into account that and hammer on self? Expect with it. Atma cannot be experienced. If you say so, if not, if you say so, if you mean by this statement that Atma as an object of my experience cannot be experienced, you are sent per cent correct. I vote for you. Somebody, I, someone said, election thing, so I am not. He challenged a rival. If you are one tenth of such and such person, I will vote for it. <laughs> if you are, I would. I am <laughs> not supposed to take it. If the rival person is nowhere near, nowhere near to administer the country. <laughs> so that if you are, if you are, if you are one tenth of such a person who is capable of anything, I am going to certainly vote for you. Like that. She can let us not bother about that. So now, this. You say, Puri, because why this notion is prevailing and the mind is so indoctrinated that the moment you utter the word Anubhava experience, Branded, this fellow doesn't know his own. It has come to that extent. They come to that extent. This fellow doesn't. As if you want to utter the word of the voice, as if a crime will be the answer. Only because of this. If you say, Atma cannot be an object of experience of who? The knower or experiencer as an object. Right. That's what that me shows 
that is possible uh, in Tripoti. So look at Tripoti, whether you experience something, whether you know something, whether you understand something, it is not real Atma at all. Why? This Tripoti is not a feature of who? The heart. Therefore, me, visheshena dneyam, without knowing or experiencing how or understanding how without the Tripoti. Is it possible or not? They think that it is not possible. Experience without Tripoti is possible. We can verify it. Right now we can verify it. We did not go somewhere etc. Come on, tell me. You sleep or not? Is it an experience or not? Yes. Now tell me, in sleep, is the Tripoti there? Is the sleeper aware that I am sleeping? It is aware means what? My example of child. <laughs> yes, mommy, I am asleep. Nobody will say. Are you asleep? If the person is asleep, yes answer can never come. Is it not? In sleep, the sleeper is not available. Slept nothingness, whatever that is there, not available. The process of being aware of it also, experience is there or not, or is after waking up. That means sleep experience is possible without tripoti. Now I can use the word tripoti. You want the English subject, object, and the process involved between the two. Try out. Fine. That is all that. One more I will add. You may say we oh, don't know. Is Samadhi. Nirvikalpa Samadhi. Nirvikalpa Samadhi wherein Dhyata. The subject. The Dhyata is not there. Dheya. Alone is there. Dhyana, the process of antakara vrittis, deyakara, etc. That is not there because entire antakara has become nothing but what? Deyakara. You may say, as a Puritan, oh, there are some vrittis are there, patrittis are there, sattva vrittis are there, etc. We are not bothered about We are bothered about only the vrittis other than the deya. And we are talking of which samadhi to come to that. Viveka pradnya samadhi, samadhi of Vedanta, and not many samadhi is described by who? Patanjali, which are there with the form, we are not aware of that. So therefore, his samadhi, Reputis is not there, Anupava is there. Moment you come out samadhi, of course, Reputis are going to come. But they are different. So that's why. Now, come on. Experience without Triputi is possible or not? Yes. Knowledge without Triputi possible or not? Yes. Understanding, if you all you are very fond of that word. <laughs> without Triputi is possible or not? Actually, you know, I experience, I know, I understand. These are the expressions when you come out of it. Just as I slept, the Triputi is there or not? In your statement, Triputi is there. But when you underwent that experience, Triputi was there. So likewise, in Samadhi, only Atma and Atma alone was there. At that time, Triputi was not there. When you came out of it, what is called as what? Vyutthana. Then what are you doing? You are trying to verbalize an experience wherein you put in or not. Understood? So that uh, this is because they either they don't accept 
the relevance of samadhi spiritual pursuit. They say samadhi, though covetable, has no relevance in spirituality. Number one, this way. And at the same time, what happens? They are also teaching. Harshas also they are teaching. They are teaching. And the context has come, they say. Vedanta accepts Samadhi as a means. That's the matter, you can get the blow there. Okay, because that's what it said. For example, if you take six chapters, Atmana Atmanam Atmana Ashekara said, Samadhi Parishuddhena Antakkaranena. Beta Kyakarega. But he has to accept all. Samadhi as the means of preparing the Shuddha Antakkaranena. And outside they say what? Samadhi has no relevance in the. See, they are contradicting. In short, what they mean is. So therefore, Atma, to be here, is not something experiential. It needs to be known and all verbosity. It needs to be claimed. It needs to be claimed. How you claim something? This is my property. <laughs> How do you claim? This is my property. How do you claim? First you should be aware of it or not. Is that what that? And then you have to prove. I have I am the only person who has got total right over it. Is it not? Can you claim other way? So this Kriya or Paramananda Swarupa is not jnani claims it but doesn't experience it. For that now, in this background, let me say what I let me tell you or let us find out what is the meaning of what? Vidneya. Last time I hinted, I don't know whether you remember or not. What did I mean? To whom we have to turn to to get the meaning of Vidneya? Vashaka. As I told you, for some reason, Madhukya Bhasya, Bhasya Kala is silent. Vidneya, he goes ahead. Sometimes, no? In the original text, etc. comes. No, that's it, Adi. Adi given by who? Original text. Commentator can't say etc. <laughs> Commentator has to do what? Explain what is the aspect. Now, Vidneya, our problem is what? What exactly is meant by Vidneya? We have to turn to whom? Vashakara. Vashakara has not explained it all. Just it goes further. Vidneya. I told you the nature of Vashakara. Because when you say Vashakara, you can't just leave and go. That is one of the rules. And if he has not explained, what does it mean? He has explained elsewhere, which he takes for granted that you have, you know it already. If you don't know what is to be done, go to a person who knows it. <laughs> it is a job of who? Acharya. Ah. It's a job of us because Acharya has to do homework for you. <laughs> Good thing. I have to do a lot of homework and for this you pay a lot of homework. <laughs> See why? Because the clarity must be once you know what it is because such wrong notions are <laughs> prevailing and that will be the truth one day sir. If you don't know, you don't place before what exactly is the truth? That will say, Vidneya. So, Bhashyakara takes for granted that you have studied 
एवोपनिषद विद्वाशना भूतेशु भूतेशु विचित्र धीरा अंदर भूतेशु भूतेशु विचित्र धीरा प्रेम त्यागमा लोका अमृता हाँ भवती इट इस नॉट गोइंग बाव जैसे दैर द वर्ड विचित्र इधर Vichitya. Now first let us analyze this word Vichitya. We, you can see, we has come there. Distinction. This word, no tributaries. Chitya. Now this is Chitya means Chit. Chetati, Chetayate. So, Adhatu is what? Chit. Chetati, Chetayate. That is what? Chetayate. Means, I have to perceive to see, to know, to understand, to be aware of, or to be conscious of. What is that? Is that chit chetati chetati means to perceive, to see, to know, to understand, be aware of, or be conscious of. But what is the prefix? V. What is the term? We move to what? Fit distinction. What is the distinction? Without the tripudi. We are not talking about your vichitya in the case of the jagat etc. But without this, it is possible where we are seeing. Sleep out of question. Samadhi arti. We, to be aware, let us keep the word. To be aware of myself, Surya, Atma, as it is free from what? Adhyastha Upadhi. And when you say free from Adhyastha Upadhi, even those Trayo, what are those Trayo? Triputi. Yes, that is, that is. No one knows knowledge, experiencer, experience, experience, they will end. In the present, we check here, that is saying in the Bhasha, he says, Vidnyaya, ah, our word has come. See, V plus Nya, Nya can be with Nyana, Nya can be made, Nya, depending on the context as well. So, Vidnyaya, having known, what is that having known, or simply having known, how having known, with me, Vishayashen, with distinction, what is the distinction? Removing the Triputi. For which, next word is says, Sakshatratya. Sakshatratya. Now, our problem is, what is Sakshat? As, a, as a Indians born in India, Bharat, I'm sure whether you want or not, unless you have educated yourself from the convent school, from the childhood, or teacher speaking in English, then you will be away from all the like that I told you was. <coughs> when Tamil boy, Ashram I was there, a Tamil boy was at, he was working in the office in the club. He was close to me. He said, at that time of the Brahmachari, hey, don't you teach me something without that? I said, okay. I will teach you Tapogodi. That's right. And then I came, Prithivi, what is that Prithivi? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he doesn't know the Prithi. Why? In Tamil language it is not that. The Prithi, I have to tell Earth. Ah! <laughs> so like that, being a convent educated child, all of us, you may be now 75 years Unless you come across other things that you may not know what is Sakshatra. Are you not aware of this word from Puranas? 
उपासना ज्यादा ध्यान एक और साक्षात्कार वो उपास्य दैवत डायरेक्टली वॉट नो वेगनेस दर्शन यू डोंट नो और अंधेरी टेलीफोन एक्सचेंज नो Two decades back, I was so shuffling on that road to take to, to go to my certificate class. But then I used to go. I think big complex it is order. But they, I know, I know they are not there. Sakshat karta samay. Sakshat redhu. वरिष्ठ अधिकारी इंटरव्यू विदर ऑफिसर What does it mean, Sakshatkar? One to one, personal. Here also, Sakshatkar. Who is the one who gives Sakshatkar? Who? 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 Nani. Nani has got it, but who is aspiring to get it? Mumukshu, Jitnyaasu. What is his plight now? टेक्निकल And Narayan has to oblige him. He has to give him money. Even then, see her same difference is there or not? So here, what we are aspiring for, Sakshatkar, is who? Jiva. And what is aspiring? Who Sakshatkar? Brahma. Then, who and Narayan with the Triputi is possible? Here, if Triputi is there, there is no more Brahma at all. What has to happen? Triputi has to end. When Triputi has ended, where is Jiva? Jiva is no more. Who is that? Brahma alone is that. That is Sakshat. So, Kabir, do you know? जब ढूंढा तुझे पूछ पाया तेरा पता नहीं अब पाया तेरा पता अब तेरा अब मेरा पता नहीं सी या सिंपल दो हाई कैटियर्स और मच हाई लेवल नॉलेज या स्टार्टिंग है भगवान जब ढूंढा तुझे पूछ मैंने सर्च यो तेरा पता नहीं पाया देखिए I was there or not? Yes. जब पाया तेरा पता मैंने डिस्कवर्ड है अब मेरा पता नहीं मैं ही नहीं हूँ ना सेम थिंग यस पुटे अंदर भी प्रेम गरी पति सांगरी जामे तू दोना समाय जब मैं था हरी ना ही अब हरी है मैं ना सच ए ग्रेट स्ट्रूट इज दैट प्रेम गली प्रेम मीन्स डिवोशन भक्ति गली गली मीन्स स्ट्रेट्स द स्ट्रेट्स ऑफ डिवोशन अति सांकरी मेरी नेरो वन वे ट्रैफिक वेरी नेरो सो आई एम सर्चिंग यू जब मैं था आई एम ऑन द स्टेट ऑफ वर्ल्ड डिवोशन एंड आई एम टेकिंग टू डिवोशन ट्रस्ट हरी ना ही आई कुड नॉट गेट हरी अब हरी है ये बात हरी है मैं ना तो देखो यार इन साक्षात कराए थे कुछ 
Jiva aspiring to have Sakshatkara of who? Brahma. Jiva would? Jiva would. Uh, Jiva Tva. Jiva would. The status of Jiva disappears. What remains? Brahma only. That is Sakshatkara. There is nothing other than that, but nothing other than what you are. So in terms of Vedantic, but I have told you in terms of Bhakti, same thing in the Vedanta definition of Brahma Sakshatkara. Next time there, I have not yet taken Vidneya, what Bhashya of course. Uh, in Yenopasya Bhashya, Vichitya, Vidnyaya, Sakshat Kritya. Means what? Vidnyaya means what? Come on, give me English, uh, Sanskrit strain. Sakshat Kritya. You have to have that. Sakshat Kritya. Sakshat Kritya. Vidnyana, Sakshat Kara. That's what they have words. Now, say, in Bhagavad Gita Bhashya, let us see what Lord Krishna has to say. Krishna distinguished between Jnana and Vidyana. And Bhashyakara comes to our rescue and explains what is Jnana and what is the Please bear with me. I, I have to go in detail as because once forever this wrong notion has to be wiped out. Otherwise, you may nod your head today and afterwards, after, afterwards, I think that seems to be correct. How Atma can be experienced? Tripudi is not possible, etc. Let us see what Shastra has to do. We also see beyond common sense. We will, we will see this at three levels. Based on common sense that Atma Jnana, Brahma Jnana must necessarily have the Atma Nubhava Brahma, common sense. Based on reasoning, of course, based on Shastra. Okay? So that it is very clear to us. Still, I have not told you what Bhashyakara is commenting on the word Vidnyana used by none other than Lord Bhagavan Sri Krishna that is distinguished between Jnana, Nadi, Vidnyana, and Vidnyana, what exactly is seen.